Hey, good morning, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL here. David, yeah, yours truly here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Why did I decide to go in this direction on my YouTube channel? Some people have asked me that, and I know a lot of y'all are like, why? We look forward to all your sports content. It's different. Well, I'm going to tell you why. And this is not only the change on YouTube with my channel, it's how I've changed with my life. My life off of YouTube changed a while back. My mindset changed a couple years ago. It was a, a slow progression per se, right? Um, Cause I was fixing everything that I needed to take care of off of the internet and off social media to put myself where I am now. And then this year, obviously early in the year, I, I did a lot of trolling and a lot of just getting involved in, it was all sports related, but just getting involved in unnecessary stuff that was taking me away from what, where I needed to, you know, 100% be. I was there almost, but not 100%. When you're on here, you're doing what everybody else wants you to do. A lot of people want me to do game streams. A lot of people want me to do constant videos. A lot of people want me to comment back and forth. A lot of people want my opinions on stuff. Blah, 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 blah. That's great. Don't get me wrong. I, I thoroughly enjoy the interaction that I have with all of y'all. I do. But this is real talk. David enjoys living. And to me, living is not just spending time on the internet. It was for so many years because I didn't have anything off of YouTube. I didn't have any goals. I didn't have any drive. I didn't have any passion. I didn't have any self-worth. I didn't have any respect for myself. So I use the YouTube as an outlet because I love sports so much. And I use that as an outlet to escape the reality of my life. But then the last couple of years, once everything started to slowly turn around in a positive direction, and really earlier this year, everything came full circle. And then the last about five months ago, when I was able, got cleared to go back to the gym and build my body back, that's where it all changed. Because instead of constantly doing videos, game streams, and live streams, and battling back and forth on the phone about sports, and texts, and Instagram about sports, comment section about sports, I was able to put those put that free time into my body and not only physically but mentally and then I've started listening to a lot of stoicism stoic channel how being stoic because the focus was not where it needed to be and so the reason why I changed my YouTube channel is I changed my YouTube channel to connect with my off you know my real life so now what I do in my real life is what I do on YouTube. I focus on mental cleansing and physical uh, health off of YouTube. There, I'm focusing on mental cleansing and physical health on YouTube. That's why I do the physical videos, the workout videos. Uh, that's why I do the Instagram, the updates on my body and how it's looking. That's why I do the captions. Um. And that's why I give motivational advice with words of wisdom under my comment section, community page, and videos, and here. That's why. Now my YouTube existence is equal. It's equal to my real life. And I wouldn't change it. As passionate as I was towards, you know, doing sporting games and live streams and battling and debating and trolling and trash talking, it's now how I feel. Now, don't get me wrong. It's still in here. It's still in here. I just choose not to bring it out. Now, I'll trash talk my friends off of YouTube because they know me off of YouTube and it's real people. I'm not saying y'all aren't real people. You understand. But let's just be real now. This is a computer internet. I also started, I also decided to change because I got sick and tired of the repetitiveness of what YouTube was. People are going to have good opinions about you. People are going to have bad opinions about you. But at the end of the day, all they care about is them. Facts. There are some on here, genuinely that care about me as a human being. And you know who you are. I don't have to mention it. There's not a lot of you, but there are some of you. You know, the ones who constantly give me positive, uplifting advice. The ones who take time out of their day to send, you know, to send me something. I mean, that, I mean, it's materialistic, but it's true. 
when people are out there working their butt off or have saved or whatever and then they take time to get me something that means a lot it's from the heart that's not the main thing but that is that's in spe that's i mean the third of my merch on my wall is you know the dodger jersey the coins the, some of the falcon jerseys i got from the past the calgary flames jersey you know some of that stuff bbd stuff some of that stuff is because people chose to give it to me and that means a lot because it's not easy to get rid of, of your possessions. I know I'm picky with it. So I appreciate it. If you care to, hit me up on Twitter, at ATL39 or Cash App, and then I'll get something. But I, that means a lot. But most importantly, the positive comments mean a lot, which means the ones who are leaving positive comments are paying attention. And obviously those people appreciate what I've done, where I'm at, and hopefully you guys are doing that for your lives. But I got tired of battling people who just can see my success, see I'm going in the good direction, and they still want to say stupid stuff. That's why anything that's dumb, I don't care what it is. I'm not even entertaining it with a reply or a like or a heart. I'm just going to hide from the channel, ban you, and remove your comment. And what y'all say about me is totally irrelevant. I could care less. I don't watch drama videos anymore. I don't watch none of that. I watch motivational videos, the sports videos that I want to watch, the physical gym videos, and live my life off of YouTube and just appreciate every day because there are a lot of us who do what we do who aren't here anymore. How do you want to live yours? You want to keep doing that on the internet with people you don't know, get into drama, get into problems, do wasteful bantering, wasteful anger? I mean, what are you really getting angry at? You don't know any of these people. But if you had something going on off of YouTube in the real world, I promise you, you wouldn't be doing this. And you ain't gonna drag me into it, right? So that that that's pretty. That's why I decided to change my channel. I wanted just to go in a different direction. Those who rock with me will still be here. I don't care if the numbers go down. I don't care if the views go down. Uh, I don't care if I get donations. Nothing. The quality of the people that are still following me are more important than the quantity. And most importantly, I love myself. I love my decision. I love my convictions. I will always be me. And there's nothing absolutely nothing that anybody's going to tell me that's going to change how i live you're you're talking to deaf ears sir or ma'am so you can either focus and change on your life or just keep hating on other people because it's not going to affect me in the slightest like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one